So here we are at venipuncture. This is what this whole class is about. It's everything you'll be doing. Um, we're going to talk about specific supplies, procedures, sites. Uh, I'm going to give you some pictures of what you'll um, need to look for. Well, this is Meg again, by the way. So the antecubital fossa or the front um, of the arm on the opposite side of the elbow is where you're going to be do doing the majority of your blood draws from. Um, there are three specific veins that they want you to use because they're the easiest to find. Uh, the median cubital vein, which is going to be your first choice. It's located in the middle of the arm surface. It's a very large vein that does not move when you try to um, insert a needle into it. The cephalic vein is going to be your second choice. It's going to be on the same side of the arm as the thumb. It's going to be a little bit harder to locate and it will have just a tad bit of movement or rolling when you um, try to puncture it. Um, we will show you obviously techniques in class um, that will help you when veins are um, rolling to help, them, to help anchor them and not have them roll. Um, the basilic vein is going to be your third choice. It's on the same side of the arm as the pinky finger. Um, this is going to be the least firmly anchored or the vein with the most movement. Um, so it's if you can find it, if it's the easiest to find, then we will show you how to anchor it. But um, it's going to be your third choice out of the veins in the antecubital fossa. Um, additional sites you can always draw from are wrist and hands, and we'll show you how to do that as well. And this is going to be the picture of the intercubital fossa and the uh, median cephalic and basilic veins. So venipuncture is the collection of blood from a vein, which is usually done for laboratory, laboratory testing. Um, typically but is, blood is drawn from the antecubital fossa or the top of the hand, the antecubital fossa being the premium spot. And this type of venipuncture requires good skills in order to perform the procedure correctly and painlessly and on the first try. Um, that's usually your goal. Um, everyone's going to have a minimal amount of pain. Um, you obviously don't want to really hurt your patient, but if they are having pain, you only want to have to do it one time. The supplies that you're going to need um, for to perform venipuncture, um, you're going to need a phlebotomy tray containing antiseptic, a vacutainer, a holder, and a needle. Um, you're going to need a tourniquet, obviously. You're going to need specimen labels indicating what tests will be run on these um, this blood, um, disposable gloves, and then a sharps container, which is going to be a red container where you dispose of your needles. Um, this is going to be your venipuncture procedure. It's going to be over the next couple of slides. I'm not going to read it to you. Um, you're going to get to know it very, very well in class. Um, so if you just want to read through it, um, make some notes. There will be some information or some questions, quiz questions on it. Um, so just make sure that you're um, you're familiar with the procedure. This is step seven through twelve. Thirteen through eighteen. And this is the last slide. There's about twenty five steps. Don't be overwhelmed. They go very quickly. <laughs> this is just a picture of some of the steps that you'll need. Um, kind of a visual cue as opposed to just reading about it.
and these are some different blood culture tube colors. Um, most of the blood culture tube colors are going to be the same from facility to facility. Um, so we're not going to get into it too much um, in class. You're going to learn them like the back of your hand when you're actually in the, in the facility. But these are just some of the different colors of tube tops. And here's what your tubes look like. All of them have a vacuum inside so that you're able to pull the blood from the actual vein. And this is actually the venipuncture procedure end. Um, if you guys have any questions, just send us um, an email and we will answer your questions as quickly as possible. And you will be having a quiz over this as well. So good luck.